And with us today for the Ford Tomorrow Association that helps combat veterans through activities, including group trips and nature guided by professionals, where the organization provides a, as they put it, quote, protected space where everyone can share the combat events they experienced and the process of dealing with them, close quote. We're honored to be joined by uh, uh, the CEO of Bishvila Mahag for tomorrow. That's Tomer Freibach, he's with us here in the studio, and also joining us is Omer Jacobi, Operation Protective Edge veteran, and Daniel Rolia, also a veteran of the operation. So thank you both for being here sort of from the ground level. And Tomer, uh, look, coming to you first, Tomer, on this, on the organization. Give us, you know, a better picture of, of, of what you do, of what the organization does. So basically we are taking uh, veterans of the IDF, they are coming with groups, usually people who fought together, and they are coming and we, they're having a three sessions a program, and two days and then eight days and then another day. In, and uh, we, create, we create the group as a safe place and they, then they can share their uh, things. Um, is this outside the country? Like going yeah, uh, the, 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 f the first and the last one are in, in Israel. The, the, the middle part can be in Israel or in usually Romania. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm familiar with someone in my own life here who went to Romania on one of these trips. Yeah. Here. Okay. Uh, look, and, and from my understanding, I mean these experiences, these trips, they, they work. I have not been part of one myself. And you take these organic units, you know, Daniel, I, maybe you can shed light on that. You know, so yeah. how how your life experience was before, and then sort of after this this program. Yeah, for me it was a really special journey because it was an organic one. People from Second Lebanon War and like they. 40 years old, uh, that after the corona something manifest in the trauma, so it was really special uh, for me. My life changed, uh, my life changed, you can tell like before the, the journey and after the journey. It, uh, I was really depressed before, I couldn't talk about the wounds of the war and then my family just said to me, you need to go there, and I said, okay. How hard of a decision was that, though, to, to go for me, where you knew you had, to, you had to tear that scab off and you had to open up? How hard was that? For me, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Like, my, in, I couldn't do it alone. My family and my friends did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to bring you into this too. I mean, it feels like the Gaza War in 2014 was kind of a yes. turning point for the country. Like there was a, a much greater awareness, for some reason, after all the wars in Israel, you know, that this this moment felt like there was a real turning point for this issue. That more people paying attention to it. Obviously, that you know, pre even you know, Itzik Sadian, you know, burning himself up to get attention. There was already. Why is that? You know, just think. Well, what I, did I can tell you. For me, it's really special chapter because. We've been there 14 days, me and my soldiers, my soldiers from the boat camp. And they know me, I know them, I trust them and they trust me. I love them like they're like my children. So it's really difficult to fight together in this situation in Gaza when we almost die together. It's like almost I lost one of my children. Yeah. So it's really difficult, and we had a lot of difficult uh, moments in the operation. So we take all the, the moment with us each day, every day, every smell and every sound. It's like, oh, I back nine years ago. So this is how, how I feel now. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, I find the triggers, the things that just yeah. every, every day, randomly, things you don't expect that suddenly your mind goes there and it goes fast, it goes deep into these yeah, places. Exactly. We almost have to remind yourself you're not there. Uh, you know, that, that's something I, I find at least. Look, overwhelmingly, I, you know, it was men on the front lines. I think some 93%, you know, of, of the troops involved. And look, up to you know, huge respect. I mean, I, I had a, a female paramedic in there with us, you know, so I mean, they were there. Mm -hmm. But obviously, this is overwhelmingly men going through this, you know, in this world. What does this mean for the hazards of, of PTSD, you know, the difficulties, the, the methods of, of dealing with it when we're talking about so many young men, you know, struggling? No. Is there something unique, you know, how you approach this? Yeah, I, I, we can tell that about, about one of every three uh, people who joined who were uh, in combat will suffer from something. They're not all full PTSD symptoms, but they have partial. Yeah. Symptoms. It's Sometimes they, they don't. They don't know how no. to relate it to the to the combat experience, but but it's there. Now, when we are uh, putting them uh, together, what what you can see is uh, usually 
uh, many of the feelings of shame and guilt that sometimes they feel among between them. I didn't do my job right. I didn't. Okay. Sometimes it has nothing to do with with, with what really happened, but they don't talk about it. Or just and when, surviving. Yeah, you know, that could be a, a guilt, you know, carrier. Um, you know, yes. you see people, you know, guys who you knew that, you know, in, yeah. in your eyes were like, hey, this guy was better than me, and he didn't make it out. You know, and that's a hard thing. You know, that I, that I've struggled with. The, and, and and the only the only way to cure it is to talk with the one who is I'm ashamed of or feeling guilty about. Okay, you can go to 20 years to uh, psychotherapy, but your therapist wasn't there. No. He's not your problem. Okay, this is why these uh, these groups work. Omar, do you find that you mentioned, you know, being in command, you know, having, having soldiers under you, uh, you know, how many of them, you know, have you, are they getting the help they need? I mean, you're talking about so many other guys. Do you think there are many that aren't getting exposed to things like this that need to be? I tell you, it's difficult for me because after the operation, I feel like a hero. A lot of people uh, tell me, oh, Omar, you're a big hero, but this is me. I don't feel like a hero. Part of my soldiers take it difficult because they, no one told them how, how to take the, the feeling after the, the operation. Yeah. And they developed uh, difficulties and I didn't been there for them. I didn't keep in touch with them, I didn't talk with them. And after seven or eight years, uh, we talk about what's happened to took us. Time. Took time to be able yeah. to even want to go back to yeah. those memories. Yeah. And I think this time, after seven years, we decided to go together to Bishvil yeah. Amachar. And we, we talked with the Tomer, and we decided together to go to the journey. And I think this is the best thing I do ever time in my life. Wow. It's, it's, it changed my life. Th that's it. It's like I'm commander before and after. It's not the same. Uh, Tim, you too. I mean, your, your friends, you know, other people you know, are, are, are enough guys getting exposed to this? Are there so many more clearly no. that need the help? The, the 600 soldiers waiting for, go, for, wow. that's, that's for the, the journey. And this is only no. the waiting list <laughs> okay. of this, okay? And nobody talk with you after the army. Yeah, that no, no, you, these, aren't, these aren't options that are presented to you coming out of the army. No, you didn't. You don't think about okay. I'm dealing with something big. I was in a war. I was really big hero, so it's okay. And you don't know how it's effect of it on you after three, four in the corona. It's like in every time. Okay. It's imagine if I can tell you something like yeah. for people to know. You can be drive in the car and hear music for something that reminds you of the army, or you like one. And songs, then you songs, saw so bombs, songs, yeah, yeah, and then you saw, bo yeah. you saw bombs in the side of the wave, wow. and felt fire, and you keep on driving and hearing the song, but this is after treatment. Yeah. Before treatment, right. you need to pull up in the side, you scream, you don't know what's happening to you. No. So that's it. It's important. Yeah. If it's okay yes, it's to say something, uh, I, I've been a facilitator in Bishvila Maha for 14 years. I'm the CEO only for the last four years. Now, we see many of them. Four, four years ago, there were much less, more groups. Okay, now there are 600 waiting from people that were fighting in a detective, uh, in protective edge, edge. Yeah, yeah. but there are over 2,000. 500 waiting on our waiting list. Oh okay. Now we are giving, we are getting some support from the government and the Minister of Defense, but we need much more. I want to put that up, and we have just a minute left. I think we have some some information to put up our, for our viewers, especially that, so they can get involved or, or make donations. I know this is heavily donation driven. Obviously, this these That's types right. of initiatives and this amazing communities all around the world who are stepping up to support this program and, and some others who are doing the space. So if we obviously want to connect our viewers with that, make sure that they know how how they can contribute. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. As well. And of course, uh, the three of you, thanks for coming here. This is, it's a brave thing not only to come on live television to talk about it in, uh, in English, no less, but um, yeah. to take this on as actively as you have for the good of yourselves, your families, and the soldiers who are there with you, your buddies, your other your guys in Torn. Keep leading the charge. So uh, thank you all for coming in here. And strong topic, an important one. Thank you. Obviously close to my heart to bring to the viewers as well.